everyone, my name is Kayla. I am the owner of Vod Lashes LLC, also known as Vod Pro on Instagram. I work in Oklahoma City at a beautiful blowout bar in Nichols Hills area. I have been a working lash artist for coming up on three years. Today I'm going to be bringing you a review of the Cosmo Glow Light as well as comparing it to the Glam Core and the Ring Light to help you decide if you need to make the upgrade and spend the money to enhance your space. There are so many pros and cons to each individual light. We're going to go over those today so that you can choose what's going to be best for your situation. Let's not waste any more time and we're going to jump right into it. With each product today that we will be discussing, I'm going to show you all the positives and the negatives so that you can compare and contrast what it is that you need, what it is that you can live with, or if there are some really big deal breakers for you. We're going to be starting off with the ring lights. In the recent year or so, ring lights have actually dropped quite a bit in price, so they're not as expensive as they were, say, you know, two or three years ago. If you are a newbie and you're just starting out, a ring light might be a better choice if you're solely basing it on price. When you get them in the mail, they are super easy to put together. They're very lightweight. Usually you can get them with a carrying case. So the other huge component of this is they can be mobile. Ring lights are also unique in that they come with these covers to go over the main light source and it actually diffuses a lot of your lighting so it's not super harsh on the subject you're working on. Ring lights are versatile in the fact that you can use them to stand upright, have somebody standing against a wall, take a photo of them, and then you can go back and change it so that it is perpendicular to your client that's laying down and go right back to work on them. As far as warranties go, you're pretty much limited to whatever your manufacturer warranty is when you make the purchase online. Amazon is not the only place that you can buy ring lights, but do your research and figure out what's gonna be best for you in terms of warranties, if it is replaceable in case it breaks, if it's defective, just make sure that you're paying attention to that. That's a lot of the key pros that you'll find in the ring light. Let's talk about the cons. Ring lights generally have a very cheap construction. So for example, the, the material that they are made out of is usually some form of plastic. When you start getting into tripods, the tripod itself that it stands on is made out of a plastic that does break easily if you are wanting to travel a lot with it. If you are going from place to place, taking it apart and putting it back together all the time, you do have that risk factor of if you're just not careful that one time, you can break a piece off and then you're having to buy a whole new tripod for it. Ring lights are so mass manufactured that these people that pump them out, they're trying to make them as cheaply as possible. The power cords tend to go out a lot faster on these. The second one that I ever bought, the power cord went out within about six months. And I was really peeved because I had spent over $100 on it. They just tend to break really easily. Also, ring lights are top heavy. The way that their base is made Again, super lightweight plastic on the bottom. So your super heavy lamp up here, when you're using it usually at the perpendicular angle of your client that's laying down, this is gonna be top heavy, meaning that any wrong move or if you touch it wrong, it's going to be toppling over. I ran into this a lot whenever I was working with ring lights for probably a solid two years. There was a couple really close calls of almost hitting my client in the face with this ring light. I do notice that ring lights do give off a little bit of warmth. Usually with ring lights, you will find that when you're taking photos with it laying down on top of the client, it will always cast a shadow. You can angle yourself kind of to the side of the ring light and to the side of your client and get some better photos. And the last thing may be just a little bit nitpicky, but again, we're just, putting everything out there. In the photography world, most photographers, and I'm just talking in general, most photographers do not really care for the catch light situation of a circle literally on the eye in a photograph. Some people don't mind this at all. It's actually just become like normal and kind of a trend. I know that it doesn't affect a lot of people. Next, let's talk about the Glamcore light. 
Glamcore lights come in a variety of versions. You do have like the single that you can buy. There is the double. You can buy one with a multimedia attachment already built into it. So the version that we will be talking about today is the Elite X Glamcore light. This light is 255 US dollars. It has five different settings using a touch sensor on the end of one light, like the ring light, Glamcore is very easy to put together whenever you receive it. Glamcore is very well known in the industry for lash artists, for permanent makeup artists, for people that are working as estheticians and they do brows or pretty much anything, but it's a very popular product on the market. And for good reason. It has very flexible arms that stay wherever you put it. It is a super lightweight, powerful light. The Glamcore is a super versatile light that you can use for standing photos, you can go out and take some gorgeous portraits of people, or you can use it with laying on a bed. As far as warranty goes with the Glamcore, look more into it online if you have questions about it, but the extended warranty is something that you have to purchase. Glamcore also has a pretty bulky base, just like the tripod. It's going to take up a lot of space in the area that you're working with, so you have to allocate extra room just for the base, so it'll fit in your room. Do give off a little bit of warmth. Not a whole lot that is concerning. It's not super significant. The Elite X arms aren't quite long enough to reach all the way across the client's face. You can place it all around the face where you need to if you're standing up. If you are having the client lay down on the bed, and let's say you have the glam core sitting next to you on one side of the bed, what you run into with the glam core is essentially it will very well light probably 75% of the face. Then this little corner over here of the face, you're gonna have more shadow, you're going to have a little bit more trouble seeing what's on this side. That's one of my biggest complaints about the Glamcore for working in a lash studio is that ideally I would have two Glamcores, one on each side of the client. But because I work in such a small studio, this room is actually seven foot by 10 foot. I do not have a lot of room. I have a small walkway, I have my dresser with all my organization and I have my bed. That is literally all the room I have and it is so tight in here. For people that are working in these tight spaces, you can only afford the space to have one and it needs to be able to do its job. As I'm working, I have to either really turn my client's face over to reach that other side where the light is or I have to really try to stretch out those arms. I did move us around a little bit so you can see a little bit more of my studio. The last product that we'll be talking about today is the Cosmo Glow Light. I'm gonna be completely unbiased and honest with you guys because I bought it with my own money. None of this is sponsored whatsoever. I just wanna give you an honest opinion that allows you to form your own. Let's go over the benefits and the amazing innovation that went into the Cosmo Glow Light. The Cosmo Glow Light is $2.99. It is made out of a super heavy duty, almost industrial metal material. And the construction to me makes me believe that this light is going to last years versus months. It's not gonna break easily. The top of it actually swivels into place and the head of it has a 360 rotation. You can put this light wherever you need it, no matter what situation that you're in. Similar to the ring light, it does have a function that is a dimmable switch, if you will, and it's such a smooth dim that you don't even notice the transition of the light. Probably one of my favorite things about the light is that it was designed by a lash artist that's working in our industry. She saw the flaws of the glam core. She noticed the flaws of the ring light. She made a light for professionals like ourselves 
working in our spaces and we need something reliable. We need something that has the ability to go from ear to ear full coverage lighting. And that is truly what the Glamcore does. The way that it lights the face and even my clients could tell that even lighting all the way across, they really enjoyed it. It made my job so much easier. I will say the few times that I have reached out personally to the founder and basically the Instagram page, she runs it. She has given me such quick response times during the week and she has answered all of my questions so quickly and so well. She's so sweet and she always wants to make sure that everybody that makes a purchase of the Cosmo Glow Light that they are taken care of. Another really cool feature about the Cosmo Glow Light is it has a very specially designed base. The base is very flat, pretty wide, and basically it has a weight to it to offset the head and the top heavy material that's up here. So because of that balance of the weight and how it's distributed, this right here, it's not moving. It's not toppling over ever. And I love that. It, it's just so well thought out. The base being flat especially, it can go under anything. It doesn't matter how your bed is set up or if it's a recliner that you're using or whatever your space is, if you are working here with a client, that base slides right under. I have it set up in such a way that it is perfect for me. The light can be even closer to my client now. It's just a space saving feature that is super well thought out and I just can't speak highly enough of the design. All right, so now that we've gotten all the good out of the way, we have to talk about some of the cons of this particular product. And Mary, I know you're watching this probably, Mary is the founder and the inventor of this light. I say all of this with love and I want to just share all of the things that I have run into so far with using the light, putting it together, all of that stuff. The first thing is this light is not easy to put together. I'm just gonna be honest. I suck at putting things together. There are instructions that come with it. There is an online YouTube video that you can watch to give a visual and see how all the parts come together. I will say that this took me three attempts to put together by myself, sadly. Uh, I'm just not very, I'm not good with tools. I'm not good with like hardware. I will recommend if you are like me and you are not a super mechanical person, then get a second person to help you. Have somebody else there to hold stuff, to put it together, because the stuff is not super light. It does get heavy and then each part that you put together, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier. So then you're having to like struggle with the wire and then this and the clamp and blah, blah, blah. Also another note about assembling this product. You have to be very mindful of the power cord. The power cord is going to come in like the head of this and you have to run it down the tubes and then through the base. Well, um, at some point, I don't know when, I crushed the, um, I think it's the input of the power cord. I, I crushed it underneath the base because the base is so heavy. So then I get the entire thing put together. I get it in my room. And again, I have such a tight space. It was like just hell trying to push through everything, get it in my room and finally set it up. And that's when I noticed that the power cord was crushed. I was so devastated. I was freaking out and I, was, I had a client that was coming in within like five minutes. So I sat there trying to like mash it back into place to hope, hope to God that it was going to work. I tried to plug it in and I just shoved it in there and thought, I hope I don't die because I don't know what electrical problem this could have created. And it worked, thank goodness. Another thing that could be a deal breaker for some people is this product is not for mobile use. Once you get this guy set up, you may not want to ever break it down because it's very heavy, it's very 
clunky. What I mean by clunky is that if you were ever to move salons, you would want to disassemble the whole thing and make sure to move it in parts versus like all together because it's it's a pretty big piece of metal and material it's heavy i do not recommend this product if you are a mobile esthetician if you are a mobile lash artist this is not for you it's really just made to be in one spot and the only other con that i could even think of for this product was that of course you cannot use this for photo standing up like say you're standing up and you want to take a portrait of a client against a wall there is no way to basically pull this in such a way that the lighting is going forward versus down. The light is always going to point down. This head swivels 360 this way, but it won't turn up towards somebody like that. So if you're gonna be taking photos of somebody standing up like against a wall, you're gonna need a different light source than this. Other than that, I really don't have any other complaints. And for me, the pros definitely outweigh the cons. I'm not gonna be moving salons anytime soon. I'm not a mobile esthetician. I have plenty of light sources that I can take photos of people against a wall. And now that I've gotten it set up and I went through all of that to get it where it is, I'm very happy with it. People have been asking me a lot since I got it and I showed it on my Instagram. They've been asking, well, how do you like it? Like, do you love it? Like, and yeah, I do love it. I am actually so happy with it. I'm so in love with it. I just wish I had it sooner. It gives us the best lighting possible. It doesn't give off any heat. It is literally this just perfect masterpiece. I wish that all of my friends that are estheticians or permanent makeup artists or lash artists could get one. You know, I want you guys to get one because it is so amazing. If you are one of those and you see a need for a device like this, you know, I think it's time to upgrade. As time goes on and, and there are people out there that innovate and make these products to our benefit, to give us the best quality product possible so that in turn, we can provide such a luxury service for our clients. To me, that is invaluable. It is an amazing thing that I'm excited to now start providing for my clients. Although, you know, using a ring light, using a glam core, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. I just feel that at a time like this and this point in my career, and maybe for you too, maybe this product is what is really going to crank it up a notch. Something that you need to know about the Cosmo Glow is that right now she is producing them in batches. They're being manufactured in batches. So when you place an order, you will not be shipped your product until all of that batch has been manufactured. On their website, they do have more information about this, but when you place your order for that batch, they will give you on the website a projected date of when they will start shipping out. For me, a full transparency kind of giving you some context to understand this. I ordered my Cosmo Glow at the end of September. The projected ship date was October 1st. Now, October 1st, I believe they were starting to ship stuff out, but mine was not shipped until about it was either week two or week three of October. I received my Cosmo Glow on October 27th. I give you this info as neither a pro or con, it's just like a neutral piece of information. So to help you decide if it's worth kind of waiting, because I look at it as kind of like a pre-order. You are sending in your order, whenever that batch gets done being made, then they will eventually get to yours to be sent out. And it does require some waiting. Some people don't like to wait. And I understand because I'm an impatient person as well, but when you order this product, it is something that you have to know about.
questions about any of these products or maybe you're still not sure which one is right for you, find me on Instagram, DM me so that we can have a conversation about it. Or I would recommend commenting below and either myself or somebody else can have a discussion with you through that thread. Sending all of my love out to each and every single one of you that has made it through this video. I truly enjoy getting to know each of you that reaches out to me, that I can connect with online, and it really does fill my heart to be a part of this amazing industry. It has given me so much gratification and freedom to do lashes every day, to work with my amazing clients. With that said, I am going to sign off. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you guys have an amazing week wherever you are. Thank you and talk to you soon.